Spooky season is striking our skies and leaving streaks of a spectacular size. Meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith is sharing the tale of the headless comet ahead of Halloween. Comet fever is still a thing thanks to Shushinshan Atlas. But could we see another comet just in time for Halloween, even in the daylight? Comet C-2024 S1 Atlas was discovered just a few weeks ago by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, project in Hawaii. Comet A3 Shushinshan Atlas was also discovered in part by the project. With the excitement of that comet still strong, there is speculation that this comet could be the next big astronomical event just in time for Halloween. Well, that comet is in a family called a Kreutz Stargrazer. Sun grazer. And those comets from that family, they're, they're thought to have originated from one gigantic comet. John Attawell, vice president of the Rochester Astronomy Club, tells me that this comet could be one of nearly a dozen great comets that have passed near Earth over the past two centuries. In the last 200 years, we've seen 10 what we call great comets. Now, great comets are comets that anybody could just look up in the sky and recognize that as a comet. What makes this comet so exciting is that it will get extremely close to the sun. In fact, orbital calculations show that it will graze the sun this Sunday, October 28th, coming within less than 350,000 miles. The size of the comet, one to two miles in diameter, is leading to speculation that it could become bright enough to see in the daylight, especially around dawn or twilight. While that is possible, the more likely scenario is that the extreme heat and gravitational forces of the sun will cause the comet to simply disintegrate, leaving a headless tail behind. The possibility of viewing another comet on the heels of Shushinshan Atlas is exciting, but despite the possibility, viewing it in the daytime is highly unlikely, and John gives a word of caution. It is so close to the sun, and if you're using binoculars or a telescope, and you're looking right at dawn, and the sun happens to come up and you look at it, that, that couldn't be good. In other words, it is never a good idea to look directly into the sun. In Rochester, meteorologist Travis Clark Smith, KIMT News 3. Stargazers who want to continue comet coverage can follow our KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist who will know more about its visibility once the comet passes the sun later this weekend.